One, two, three, let's do it! Yeah! No. No. There he oh, is. Yes, he did it. There's our buddy Sean Ash taking a plunge today in Eagle Creek. Yeah, you want to talk about the temperatures. They were in the mid-30s. That's it called burn with like 50 hours behind that bee. Yeah, he was out there raising awareness for the polar bear plunge to benefit the Special Olympics. The big event is March 3rd. And we've got info on how to register or donate to Sean's page at WTHR.com. Oh, that's great. It's for a good cause. <laughs> it is for a good cause. That is going above and beyond that. Good, good for him. Well done, Sean. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed in the background, there's ice yes. on Eagle Creek. No. Still cold. Still very cold. <laughs> and we had a big temperature drop today. Would you believe me if I said today's high was 56? No, because it didn't feel like it. <laughs> it didn't. It was 56 when we went home last oh, night, oh, very okay, early this morning. <laughs> so our high today happened shortly after midnight, and then the temperatures have been going in the wrong direction most of the day. We warned you the colder air was coming, and we spent most of the afternoon in the mid-30s. It's 35 now, a north wind at 12. It feels like 27. Remember, yesterday at this time, we had temperatures in the 60s, so we're 25 to 30 degrees colder than 24 hours ago. We're down 28 in Indianapolis and Shelbyville, 27 colder in Richmond, and 29 degrees colder in Bloomington. Cold, you'll need the jacket if you've got some Friday night plans. Cloudy skies, but the roads will be dry the next uh, several hours, and we'll start Saturday dry, 30 at 9 a.m., a 1 p.m. temperature with clouds of 38, nearing 40 degrees. But sometime after lunchtime, we'll be tracking the leading edge of a light wintry mix. So if you've got some plans and you don't want to deal with wet roads, do those early in the day on Saturday. Future Track 13 confirms the dry, cloudy start. This is 4 p.m. tomorrow. The leading edge of this wintry mix arrives. Now, with temperatures above freezing, this is just going to be a little sloppy, a little rain, a little snow, maybe a little bit of sleet mixed in. As the temperatures start to drop Saturday night into early Sunday, the majority of the precipitation will be gone. That's good news. May we get a few slick roads? That's still a chance late Saturday night, early Sunday. And if you're making plans for the weekend and you need more dry hours, you'll get a few more on Sunday. The early part of Saturday will be dry with that late rain snow mix, some sunshine on Sunday and nearing 50 degrees. Take advantage of that because rain chances return early next week, Sunday night into Monday. We're going to have a soggy stretch in the seven day forecast. Late day mix, it arrives around two or three o'clock for the western part of the state, near 40. Some sunshine on Sunday 50. We get back into the mid 60s Monday and Tuesday of next week, but it will be soggy with the threat for flooding, rain and storms Monday and Tuesday too. All right.